Greetings, this is Ben Murray, Founder and Instructor at the SAS Academy, and welcome to the SAS in 60, where I teach the basics of a SAS metric in 60 seconds. Today's topic, deferred revenue, an important financial concept in SAS. So deferred revenue is a payment from a customer for future goods or services. The seller, that's us as a SAS company, records this payment as a liability because it has not yet been earned. So let's take a look at an example balance sheet. In this case, this is HubSpot's balance sheet. So common items in a SaaS balance sheet are deferred commissions, capitalized software, and deferred revenue. Today, we're talking about deferred revenue. So you can see in the current liability section, we have deferred revenue of 191 million. Now, if we invoice customers for multiple years at a time, you may have long-term deferred revenue. So you can see we have deferred revenue net of our current portion. So you may have both current and long-term deferred revenue on your balance sheet. So deferred revenue is created when a company invoices the customer for payment in advance of earning it. So it's recorded as a liability on the balance sheet because the company, us, has now an obligation to perform or deliver a good or service. Revenue is earned over time as we deliver the software or service. So of course in SaaS it arises from software subscriptions and professional services as well. We can have uh, deferred revenue in professional services. So a quick example with deferred revenue. So again, deferred revenue is created through an accounting transaction and that's when a customer is invoiced. So let's say we invoiced a customer for a one-year subscription for $12,000. So the accounting transaction for this is we debit accounts receivable for $12,000 because they owe us for $12,000. And then we record a liability for deferred of uh, $12,000 for deferred revenue. So it's not touching our P&L at all yet. That's when the revenue recognition process, process kicks in, when we can start recognizing this $12,000 over time and pulling it into the P&L as revenue. So remember, invoicing our cash receipts does not mean revenue recognition. And if you have questions about this, make sure you consult with a licensed CPA firm knowledgeable in the SaaS business model. To learn more about this metric and other metrics, check out the SaaSAcademy.com and the SaaSCFO.com.